the multiverse idea, once thought to be so crazy it only belonged on evening night television, has now become the dominant theory in cosmology. It's unavoidable. You cannot avoid the theory of the multiverse. What if I told you that right now, at this very moment, there are countless versions of you living in different universes? It may sound like something out of a science fiction story, but it may very well be true. Recently, famous physicist Michio Kaku has made a bold claim saying that the existence of parallel universes is not only possible, but necessary to explain some of the biggest mysteries of our universe. Michio Kaku believes that the multiverse is the only logical explanation for everything around us. It could explain things like dark matter and why certain physical laws seem to be perfectly tuned for life. The universe was smaller than a basketball. You could put the universe in your pocket. The universe was smaller than an electron. But if this bang happened once, it can happen again and again and again, even as we are talking. Now, what's even more exciting is that the James Webb Telescope has found something at the edge of the universe that proves the idea of multiple universes to be true. It has discovered galaxies that can only exist if the theory of the multiverse is true. Can these hidden worlds have any intelligent life? How are they different from our universe? Let's explore this fascinating concept and see how the James Webb Telescope proves this theory. Michio Kaku is a famous physicist and science communicator. Recently, he shared some fascinating ideas about the multiverse universe theory. He suggests that there might be other universes existing alongside our own. These universes could be similar to ours or completely different with their own set of rules. Kaku believes that parallel universes are not just made up in stories, but they could actually be real based on certain branches of physics. Let's try to understand what parallel universes mean. Kaku talks about something called the multiverse. This idea says that there could be many universes, each with its own special features. These universes might have started differently during the early expansion of the universe. In this big multiverse, there could be an endless number of parallel universes. Even though we don't have direct proof of parallel universes, there are scientific theories that support their possibility. Now, let's delve deeper into this concept. We believe that when time began, everything was in a state of disorder, with quantum fluctuations taking place everywhere. Out of that chaos, our classical worldliness emerged. Albert Einstein suggested that our universe is like a bubble that's expanding. And maybe there are even smaller bubbles within our bubble, creating an even bigger bubble. We call this expansion the Big Bang. Most of these bubbles pop into existence and disappear just as quickly. So, in the vast emptiness of space, there are constantly new universes being born and vanishing. No matter how much we explore the universe with our advanced technology, we may never find its edge. It's like trying to find the end of a rainbow or the bottom of a never-ending pit. Space just keeps on going and getting bigger. Bubbles form all the time like in a bubble bath. And these bubbles expand rapidly, giving us universes, or they pop back into existence. So continual creation, the idea of a multiverse, is very pleasing to me. The universe is made up of two main things, matter and radiation. If you look closely enough, you'll see signs indicating an expanding universe, like galaxies that grow in size and number faster than you can imagine. So what exists beyond the visible universe? Is there emptiness beyond the light that has reached us since the Big Bang? Or is there actually a multiverse that is mysterious and beyond our comprehension? Unless our understanding of the universe is completely wrong, the multiverse seems to be the answer. Here's why. The core idea of the multiverse theory is that our universe is not special or unique in any way. Just like the Earth, the Sun, and the Milky Way, our universe doesn't hold a special position in the cosmos. And the multiverse theory takes this idea even further, suggesting that the entire visible universe is not exceptional at all, but just one of many possible realities. The universe we can see is like a tiny organism in the huge expanse of space that we can't see. That's why it's understandable if you find it difficult to grasp the idea of a multiverse. And it's natural to have doubts about whether we can ever truly know if it exists. In fields like physics and astronomy, we rely on evidence that we can observe and measure to support our theories. But when it comes to something that exists beyond our ability to see and doesn't leave any traces in our universe, 
it becomes really challenging to find solid proof. So the concept of a multiverse seems like one of those things that we can't really test. However, there are things that we know are true even if we can't see them directly. Take gravitational waves, for example. Even before we actually detect them, we knew that they had to exist because we could observe their effects on binary pulsars. These pulsars are two neutron stars that orbit around each other and appear to have shorter periods of revolution. We figured that something must be taking away their energy, and based on what we already knew, gravitational waves seemed like the most likely explanation. Recently, the LIGO and Virgo Observatory confirmed the existence of gravitational waves through direct detection. But even before that, we had other evidence that strongly suggested their existence. Some people might argue that this other evidence alone was enough to prove that gravitational waves exist. For instance, we observed binary pulsars emitting gravitational waves, although LIGO and Virgo didn't detect the waves from those particular pulsars. However, just because we can't see something directly doesn't mean it isn't there. So if we can't see the multiverse with our own eyes, how can we know it's real? What indirect clues do we have that indicate that there's more to the universe than what we can observe? And how can we be certain that our universe is just one of many within the multiverse? We learn about the universe by observing it, just like how we learn about the world by exploring it. When we look at the farthest parts of the universe that we can see, we find something really interesting. The light that was emitted a long time ago which we call the cosmic wave background, creates special patterns in the sky. These patterns give us a lot of information about the universe we live in. They show us how hot and dense the universe was when it started, what it's made of, and even how space itself is shaped. In short, the patterns in the sky help us to understand the basic natures of the universe and our place in it. And based on what we can see, it seems like space isn't curved like a ball or a saddle. Instead, it looks flat which means that the part of the universe we can't see is probably much larger than what we can see. And here's the interesting part. It doesn't loop back on itself or have any empty spaces. If it's curved, then it's likely hundreds of times bigger than what we can observe. As time goes on, we keep discovering more parts of the universe that look similar to ours. It all fits together with the big picture that we have in mind. It's possible that there's more to the universe than what we currently know, but there's no solid proof of it and it doesn't necessarily mean that there are many universes. However, there are two well-established and widely accepted ideas in physics, cosmic inflation and quantum physics. Cosmic inflation is a scientific theory that helps explain how the universe may have started with a big explosion. It suggests that there's a limit to how hot and crowded the early universe could have been during its expansion. If the temperature had been extremely high in the past, we would see evidence of it now. However, we don't see that evidence. There were variations in temperature during the early stages, and the differences in the density of the starting points were limited by the size of the cosmic horizon. There are also leftovers from the early universe, like magnetic monopoles, that we haven't fully understood. The fact that we don't see the expected evidence is significant because it means that the universe didn't reach the very high temperatures that were previously assumed. It suggests that something else happened before the Big Bang to set things up the way they are now. That's where cosmic inflation comes in. This idea was created to solve some problems with the Big Bang Theory, but it did more than just fix those problems. It also made predictions that can be tested and observed in our universe. Big Bangs happen all the time, and even right now, new universes are being created. This is called eternal inflation, where inflation is the creation of a baby universe. These baby universes are constantly being created in a big mix of universes, each universe might have slightly different laws of physics and the flow of time. Eternal inflation, this idea of many universes, is the main theory in cosmology today. During our study of the universe, we come across some fascinating discoveries. One of them is the absence of spatial curvature, just as we expected. We've also noticed that the initial variations in the universe follow a certain pattern known as adiabatic nature. Additionally, the spectrum and size of these initial variations match what we would predict if the inflation theory was correct. Surprisingly, we've even found fluctuations that are larger than we previously thought possible, which aligns with what inflation theory tells us. All of this is quite captivating. While we don't have all the answers about inflation, 
we do have compelling evidence that it occurred in the early stages of the universe. Inflation essentially kick-started the Big Bang and generated a range of fluctuations that eventually led to the cosmic web we observe today. As far as our knowledge goes, only inflation can account for some observations of the universe and make predictions that align with what we see today. Some of you may wonder why this is such a significant finding. You may not be impressed by the idea that a small portion of space expanded rapidly through inflation to become a much larger volume, encompassing the visible part of the universe. Now, even if this idea is correct, it only suggests that there is more to the universe beyond what we can currently observe. One could argue that it doesn't necessarily imply the existence of multiple universes. I completely understand and agree with that viewpoint. However, there is another aspect we must consider – the concept of quantum physics. Scientists treat inflation, the swift expansion of the universe after the Big Bang, as a field that behaves like other particles in the universe, following certain rules. These rules are part of what we call quantum field theory, which governs how particles interact with each other. The quantum realm can be quite peculiar and has many unusual rules, but one of the most important for our purposes is the rule of quantum uncertainty. Usually, we think of uncertainty as a relationship between two things, like momentum and position, or energy and time. However, there's another type of uncertainty woven into the fabric of the universe, known as quantum uncertainty. In simple terms, it means that even if we know the value of a field at one point in time, as time progresses, the value becomes less certain, and we can only make educated guesses about it. It's somewhat akin to trying to predict the weather, even if you know the current weather conditions, you can't be entirely certain about what it'll be like in an hour or in a day. To put it in simpler words, the value associated with a quantum field gradually spreads out as time passes. So there are two crucial concepts we need to discuss. Cosmic inflation, which asserts that the universe is expanding larger with each passing second, and quantum physics, which explains how incredibly small things operate. Imagine the universe expanding like a ball rolling slowly on a flat hill. As long as the ball stays on top of the hill, the universe keeps getting bigger. But when the ball finally rolls off the edge of that flat part, it falls down into the valley below. That's when the energy from the expansion turns into matter and energy. According to the rules of quantum physics, when the universe was growing, it went through a process called reheating. Reheating marked the end of the expansion and gave rise to the hot Big Bang that we all know about. However, during the expansion, things change slowly in different areas, spreading out randomly. So the expansion ended quickly in some places, but more slowly in others. There's something important to know called the multiverse, which is highly likely and inevitable. When the expansion suddenly stops, it leads to a Big Bang and the creation of a universe. Some parts of this universe may look like what we see, but beyond that, there are other regions where the expansion doesn't stop as quickly, so they keep growing. In certain parts of the universe, the expansion can stop because of quantum spreading. This leads to a Big Bang that creates an even larger universe. Within this vast universe, there might be a small area that looks like our own. The other parts of the universe not only keep expanding, but also keep growing. Scientists have figured out how fast these regions are expanding and compared it to how often new universes form and Big Bangs open. When the predictions match what we observe in the universe, it suggests that new universes and expanding regions are forming faster than the expansion can stop them. The multiverse theory suggests that these are huge universes, much bigger than what we see. These universes keep being created in an ever-expanding space. We can't test this concept right now, but it comes from our understanding of physics and is a theoretical result. We don't know if the laws of physics in these other universes are the same as ours, but there's still so much we don't know about the universe and scientists keep exploring to learn more. They have found that if the universe goes through a period of fast expansion, according to quantum physics, then there must be a multiverse. This means that there are probably countless other universes like or unlike ours existing alongside it. Of course, scientific knowledge changes, and future discoveries might change how we see the universe. But based on what we know now, the idea of a multiverse is supported, just like the concept of gravitational waves. It's a fascinating and mind-bending idea that opens up many possibilities beyond what we currently understand. Now, let's think about another way of looking at the multiverse idea. Instead of imagining other universes outside of ours, what if they exist inside our own universe? In other words, 
What if multiple universes coexist within each other, like a nesting structure? Some scientists suggest there might be something that allows this arrangement. This idea is quite mind-boggling. Just as we don't know what's beyond the observable universe, there's another interesting question. What's inside a black hole? Could black holes hold the key to a whole collection of new universes? Black holes have fascinated scientists and the public for a long time. They form when huge stars collapse under their own gravity, creating a very strong gravitational force that traps everything, even light. At the center of a black hole is a singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics as we know them no longer work. While black holes are famous for swallowing matter and energy, they also have something called an event horizon. This boundary marks a point of no return. Once something crosses the event horizon and enters the black hole, it is thought to be lost forever. However, research and theories have suggested that black holes may not be cosmic graveyards, but instead gateways to new universes within our own. One idea that supports the notion of black holes containing other universes is called the black hole baby universe. According to this idea, when matter and energy enter a black hole, they get compressed and condensed at the singularity. Instead of being destroyed, this matter could create a new universe on the other side of the event horizon. In this scenario, each black hole in our universe could give rise to a unique universe, forming a nested structure of parallel realities. The existence of these black hole baby universes is still just a theory because we don't have direct observational evidence yet. However, the mathematics of general relativity and quantum mechanics suggest that this phenomenon might be possible. Scientists all over the world are actively researching and exploring the complex relationship between gravity, quantum physics, and black hole properties. If black holes do serve as gateways to other universes, it would have enormous implications. It would mean that our universe is just one of many interconnected realms, each with its own physical laws and possibilities. Exploring these parallel universes could give us valuable insights into the fundamental nature of reality and help us understand the deepest mysteries of the universe. But it's important to understand that going inside a black hole would be extremely dangerous. The intense gravitational forces and extreme conditions near the singularity would make it impossible for us to explore using our current technology. As scientists continue to push the boundaries of knowledge and develop new theories, it's possible that future breakthroughs could help us unlock the secrets of black holes and provide a better understanding of the existence and nature of these parallel universes. Recently, the James Webb Telescope has discovered six massive ancient galaxies, and this discovery has the potential to support the concept of a multiverse. These galaxies, dubbed universe breakers by astronomers, challenge the current theories of cosmology due to their size and age. According to existing models, these galaxies should not have had enough time to form so soon after the Big Bang. The discovery raises questions about our understanding of how galaxies formed in the early universe and may require a re-evaluation of basic cosmological principles. If confirmed, the existence of such massive galaxies at such an early stage of the universe suggests that the Dark Ages, a period when the universe was thought to be devoid of star formation, may not have been as dark as previously believed. It implies that star formation and galaxy growth occurred much earlier than anticipated. This finding has profound implications for the concept of a multiverse. The discovery of these universe breaker galaxies challenges the idea that our universe is unique and suggests that there could be other universes where similar processes have occurred. So let us know your thoughts in the comments section and stay tuned for more content.